Hey Superstar, it's Gavin here from Wake Up Fulfilled and I help people heal their past, find their power and live their truth. In this video, I wanna share with you five blocks that are manipulating your life and it's something that I definitely think you should know about. And so um, I'm gonna be sharing with you what those five blocks are in just a moment. If you don't know already and if you're new to this channel, um, I used to have a YouTube channel with over 200,000 subscribers. The channel got deleted. As you can see there, I got the YouTube award. Um, and I'm going to be talking about why my channel got deleted uh, later on in this video. Okay, so um, I'm going to go through the blocks now and explain it to you. Um, by the way, I'm tapped into the collective energy right now. So if you're watching this video, that means that this video is for you, but also for your friends and family members. So if you find something in this video that resonates or resonate might resonate with a friend or family member, be sure to share it with them. So um, the first block is I need to love all things. And the way I'm interpreting that energy is that you need to be a certain way, okay? When you become spiritual and you're learning about spirituality, it's almost like you create this new identity of where you should be, how you should be, what you should be doing. I need to be meditating every day. I need to med meditate for an hour. I need to, you know, make sure I do my mantras. I need to make sure that I pray. I need to make sure that I'm positive all the time and I've got positive emotions and that I'm a high vibration all the time. There's this identity that we create in the way we should be. And sometimes even watching videos of myself or someone else on YouTube and they're spiritual, it looks like they are a certain way, but I want you to know, just watching a 30 minute video or 15 minute video of someone doesn't tell you who they actually are all of the time. So don't get this idea that you need to be a certain way and you need to be high vibes all the time and you need to love all things and be hippy dippy. Not necessarily true, right? What I would say is you might have this idea of who you want to be, but take your time in getting there. Don't beat yourself up that you're not there yet because obviously that's gonna create some inner conflict and resistance in getting there in the first place. When it comes to success, when it comes to growing, you want to grow from a place of abundance rather than from a place of lack. And what I mean by that is you want to grow from self-love and not because, oh, someone else said you should be a certain way. You want to be in alignment with your personality type. You want to be in alignment with who you are currently consciously and just take your time into growing and expanding and opening up and evolving right? So I used to do this. I used to push myself so freaking hard to be this person externally. And when I got there, like, so to speak, it felt like crap because it felt like I, you know, it didn't feel like an achievement. It just felt like, okay, well, there's more to do. I need to grow even more. I need to grow even more. And what I'm saying is now to grow in a way, to expand in a way, to ascend in a way from a place of love and enjoy the process. If you don't like meditation, don't do meditation. If you're not loving all things right now, you don't need to love all things right now. You don't need to like that person and like this person and like that person and like everyone. You can not like people, right? You're not here to be totally zen right now, okay? You can, you can get there. You can get to a place where you don't have negative thoughts about people all the time and you know, um, you know, you're not even attracting negative people and you know, you're just behaving in a totally more pure way. And I believe the ultimate goal for all of us is to become more pure. And that's what our gift is. This is part of our ascension process. We are ascending, we are growing and we are expanding, becoming our greatest version by becoming more pure. But the process into getting there doesn't mean you know, you're gonna jump all the way there. You need to rewire your brain, you need to change your energy, you need to clear stuff out. That's gonna take some time. It's gonna create, um, you need to create some new habits and all of this stuff, okay? So uh, don't beat yourself up. Over time, you'll become more pure. And I would say like over time, I've become more pure. When I was forcing myself, it didn't feel good. Now that I am approaching spirituality in a more gentle, sweet way, it's enabled me to free my energy up, have less stress, and come from a place of self-love and abundance, all right? So the next one here is relationships don't last block, right? Relationships don't last. So the thing is, in the Western world, uh, we've got television programs of, you know, uh, the cheaters and divorce court and, you know, um, you know, all these different, you know, programs around, you know, relationships and stuff like this. And do relationships actually last? 
Now there are a small percentage of people where they have long-term relationships. Those are the people that put in the work. Those are the people that get counseling. Those are the people that study relationships. Those are the people that know about the five love languages. Those are the people that are surrounding themselves with other people that are in successful long-term relationships. They're not just leaving it woohoo up to anyone and thinking that they're gonna have a long-term relationship just by accident. They study your, your partner's psychology and how they think. Studying um, and understanding that you know you grow at your own pace and you get to learn from your partner. Your partner is your own reflection. You're not there to change your partner. You know, it's all of these things and understanding that relationships take work and you need to find someone and be in a relationship where someone's working on themselves. Now, what's coming through right now is you may be in an existing relationship and your partner's not growing. Now, you growing doesn't necessarily mean you're going to leave them behind, but sometimes in the, if we look at it in a positive way, as you become the light, as you start growing, as you start becoming a more loving person, they will open up to some of your ideas, some of your philosophies and you're raising your vibration and they will start feeling like, oh, I wanna know more about this. Like how, I can see you're changing, I wanna know a little bit more. Rather than trying to push something on them, um, you're, you're allowing them to grow at their own pace and loving them for where they are at and loving their current level of consciousness. For those of you who are single and you know, you're worried about cheating and relationships and dating and the whole process and the hurt from the past, Know that you have learned from those particular relationships and realize and identify what you do want, okay? Because that's giving you focus. The bad is telling you more about what you do want and what you want from a man or a woman in a relationship, what kind of relationship you do want to attract. And where are those people situated, right? Are they going to retreats? Are they going to ayahuasca, right? What are they doing? What are these kinds of people doing, all right? And are you doing those same things in order to kind of manifest that person into your life? Maybe, you never know, if, you, if you're into love that much and love's a very really high priority for you, like a successful relationship, maybe you need to move country. Maybe you need to move to the East, right? And find someone who is, you know, understanding these principles and has morals and has, you know, all this stuff that you can trust. So um, when it comes to relationships, yes, relationships can last long term, but you got to work your ass off. You got to work to make that happen. It's not just a simple dimple, woohoo, get in a relationship, get married, and that's it. No, you got to put the work in. It takes work. Just like you got to take care of your kids, the work that you put into your kids, the same work you got to put into your relationship. Just like it would be, I mean, you know, we spend eight hours a day at a job, 10 hours a day at a job. You know, we should be spending some time on understanding the relationship. We should be reading the books, listening to the audio books, watching the videos, understanding psychology and how people think and relating and all of this stuff and what you can do romantically and stuff like this for your partner, right? So um, the next one is I'm, I'm bad for wanting to, sorry, I'm bad for wanting more. Okay, I'm bad for wanting more. I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person because I want more. And that's not necessarily I want more money. Um, it can be. Maybe you have that or you want more love or you want uh, more success or you want more fulfilling life. It might be internal. Okay, You want more fulfillment, more joy, more happiness, more inner peace. Don't feel guilty for wanting more. In fact, don't feel guilty for taking action on your dreams, all right? These are all downloads that are coming through me. I just want you to be clear. This is not just, these are downloads, okay? So taking action, right? Don't be afraid to show off, right? Show off, show off, take action, show off. Don't be afraid, no holds barred. Go after your dream, go after what it is that you are after. Go, go make it happen because you deserve it. You need to love and honor yourself enough to have it. You are enough, right? So when it comes to taking action, you are enough. So when it comes to wanting more or desiring more, I don't like the word desiring. Um, I know the book Think and Grow Rich talks about desiring and having a burning desire for something. Now, whilst I somewhat agree with that, it's not as spiritual as I would like it to be in my own personal opinion because if you have a burning desire for something sometimes you'll do anything in order to make that happen and so um, what I would say is a better approach 
is to know that what you want is normal. What you want is normal to experience. I have this thing called affirmations. It's normal for me to be successful. Not affirmations, but affirmations. It's normal for me to be happy. It's normal for me to have, you know, 10,000 pounds in my bank account. You know, these are affirmations where you're making what you want normal and natural in your life. As soon as you desire something, you're saying it's separate from you. As soon as you desire something, now it's on a pedestal. You know, so what we want to do is rephrase that and say, hey, no, that's actually natural for me to have. I'm going to make it happen now. Now I'm going to take massive action towards it because that's just normal to have in my life. All right. So that's how you, that's how you attract. That's how you align with the path. All right. There are multiple different timelines that you can go down, right? Even the way I'm making this video and the things that I'm saying, although it's source coming through me, there could be multiple different ways that it could be coming through. And so you could have watched this video tomorrow. You know, this could have been choices. You may have not clicked on this video and it may have come back at another time or whatever it is, right? So there's different timelines, there's parallel realities. What makes things happen is your attunement, your energy and you adjusting your energy and you doing the energy healing and releasing your blocks, which attune you to the path that leads to where you want to be. And so that's why I teach to remove all the energy blocks around what you want so that you are totally attuned to what it is that you are wanting. So there's no problem in you wanting more. There's no problem in having more, being more. Society tells us that you know, we should feel guilty or we should feel some sort of shame for wanting more. What I would say to that is that is the part that that's the thing. That's the exact thing that you need to break through any shame, any guilt, any doubt on what other people will perceive you to be for following your path, for following your truth, for finding your power, from healing yourself. Right? You gotta be a little bit out of your mind to not allow other people to dictate, all right? And sometimes you don't even know, you're just assuming what other people might think of you, all right? It's our own belief systems and this internal dialogue. So know that voice in your head, it's not true, right? Know the voice in your head, it's not true. It's the ego, it's what you've learned through society. It's what you've learned from television. It's what you've learned from your external. And whilst your experiences have created these belief systems, you get to choose what you believe. You get to override and transcend your thinking. And so transcend it and realize that, no, it's normal for me to want more. It's normal for me to want more. It's normal for me to want more. So comment that below. It's normal for me to want more. All right, next. Love me for me block. This is a huge one that I recently went through and it's coming through as a collective energy right now. And um, it's that someone can love you for you. This is a huge one. If you wanna attract a soulmate, attract a twin flame, um, attract your divine partner, you need to be totally aligned with people. There's someone that will love me for me completely, 100%, right? Because that's, that, this, this is a major block for a lot of people because uh, what happens is we grow up and we start this facade, right? We, we start this who we are, right? And then who we show to be, right? So when we go on dates, for example, we're showing a face, you see, to impress the other person. And both parties are being fake because both parties may be attracted to each other. So we used a little bit of manipulation, all right? And so we have created this dynamic in our society that we need to be fake in order to impress others so others will like us. But what if someone just liked us for us? What if we could just be ourselves? What if we could just present ourselves and show up in a way which wasn't fake, right? And not trying to be someone that we are not in order to impress or to get them to like you or to love you or whatever it is. So going back to relationships don't last, for a lot of people, even with Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith, they had to break down all of these particular barriers where they were presenting someone which they were not in their relationships 
And so they had to break down those belief systems and accept the, uh, each other for who they were. It's really interesting. Okay, there's a, there's a show called Red Table Talk on, on uh, Facebook. They can go check out to find out more about that. But ultimately, um, we need to be okay with being us and not trying to be someone that we're not. Okay, we, we tend to sort of perk up and, and um, sort of step outside of who we truly are in order to impress someone, okay? Now, I'm not saying not to put your best foot forward. I'm not saying not to dress nice or whatever it is. I'm just, I'm just saying it is possible for someone to love you for who you truly are, the core being of who you are, and you can be accepted in society for who you are. If you're willing enough, if you're brave enough to be vulnerable and let down all of those layers and shields that you have put up in order to protect yourself from society, all right? So be okay with breaking down those shields and becoming that version of yourself, okay? The last one here, um, I'm on my own. This is the last block, I'm on my own. Now, in terms of your external reality, maybe you're alone, all right? But I want you to know there's spiritual energy energies around you um, that can support you, your ancestors, all right? Beings of love and light. That could be Ascended Master Jesus Christ. That could be the Blue Avians, you know, whatever starseed you are, right? You have energies that support you. So as long as you're willing to connect with them and ask and request and ask your angels, ask for support, right? And know that you have a team behind you and know you're not just walking through life by yourself. Maybe you're on your journey to, you know, being a more spiritual person. You're on your spiritual ascension. You're on your awakening experience. You're growing, you're expanding. And you feel like you're on your own and it's kind of stressful because you have no one to talk to. And what I would say to that is you need to go to the events. You need to go and join the groups on Facebook, right? I have a Facebook group. It's called the Love and Light Mastermind, right? You can join and make friends make connections. Maybe you'll find someone in your town or, or city or whatever it is and make those relationships. Don't be afraid to get outside your comfort zone. Uh, there's a website called meetup.com where they have free events and paid events that you can go to, right? And now you can start surrounding yourself with like-minded people. And what I would add to that is it's important to accept your, your friends and your family members for their current level of consciousness. And you're not trying to press upon them any ideas or energies or whatever it is that you need to be this way or you should be this way or you internally fight in, in your brain on how they should be, okay? And right now, as I close my eyes, I'm actually seeing DNA, uh, DNA strand. And uh, the way I'm interpreting that is you can build connections, right? You can build connections with other people you can build connections with your friends and family members, but it takes a level of consciousness. It takes you growing into a better version of yourself and realizing, hey, that's their current level of consciousness. I'm gonna accept them for who they are and me trying to change them or internally wanting them to be different is not who I should be. I should be accepting them for where they're at and focus on myself, focus on growing and expanding and becoming a greater version of myself so I become more of the light. And as I become more of the light, people will come along. Some will come along, some will follow, some will learn from me. But ultimately, I need to love myself to meet new people, make new friends, and stuff like this. Okay, so now that you've got those five blocks, what I've done is I've created an extended version of this video, which you can check out in the link in the description, where I'm gonna be going through these blocks and basically providing you with an energy healing around all of these blocks that I just shared with you. So you can totally release them out of your being, ascend and grow, and literally be on your path, okay? This is all about being on your path, finding your path, and releasing any energies that could be potentially holding you back from reaching your full potential. So the link for that will be in the description. So on my YouTube channel, my previous one got deleted, um, there's a number of reasons um, and different stories that have come about since my channel got deleted. Um, the first one I want to share with you is actually the night before uh, I was, um, I found out that there's two people manipulating my energy, okay? And I had no idea about it, all right? 
and uh, these are two people that I actually know and uh, one of them was doing it intentionally and one of them was doing it unintentionally all right and so um, once I found out about it someone had told me a friend had told me they sent me a picture of the two people I, I done energy releases about it I cleared all the energy I cut all the cords and stuff like that all right and it was crazy but that day I felt so freaking powerful like it felt like my energy just went levels and levels and levels up my, like, my level of consciousness my level went I felt so freaking powerful it was unbelievable so these two people were taking a lot of my energy a lot of my resources and I had no idea about it and so in the extended version of um, this particular video I'm going to be doing releases around that I'm going to be doing energy clearing around anybody that could be potentially taking your energy in that way all right so after I had uh, done those releases I felt absolutely amazing next morning I was on YouTube just watching videos and then I was automatically signed out of my YouTube channel and then I was like what what's happened uh, I tried to log back in and I couldn't log back in uh, and then I started searching my channel and then I couldn't see any of my videos. I was like, what? The channel got deleted. I checked my email. I didn't get any email from YouTube, nothing. All right. And I was like, what the hell is going on? All right. And then in my groups and stuff, people were asking Gavin, where's your videos? Where's your videos? Where's your videos? People on Instagram, where's your videos? I was like, oh man, channel got deleted. And so at that point in time, it's like, I didn't feel anything. I was just like, okay, channel got deleted. Um, and um, maybe later that day, I started to feel like a sense of it's actually okay. You know, it doesn't matter. So what, right? And I've always had a, kind of had that energy of not being attached, right? Not being attached to the external and stuff like that. I can always build it back. I feel an internal power within me. My inner resources, the way I feel about myself, knows that hey, I can build this back. Maybe even better. Maybe even faster, bigger, right? And so. And that's the mentality that I had. And it was like, nothing can stop me. All right. So and that's the attitude that I came with. All right. Another reason why my channel may have been deleted is some people are saying it's to do with race. All right. There was two other people who are my complexion, whose channels got deleted the same time as mine. All right. So some people are saying it's because of race and how YouTube can now identify you know, it's this conspiracy. They can identify. I think they can tell like the pixels of the video and stuff and who's in the video and whatever. But um, I don't think they're going to delete videos based on race. OK, uh, there's been new community guidelines on YouTube. So there's another reason. Maybe I had a bunch of videos that were affecting community guidelines and they just deleted my whole channel. You need three strikes in order to get your channel deleted. But I only had one. Um, so I don't know, I don't know exactly what happened there. I emailed YouTube twice and they didn't respond to me at all. So after that, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to start a new channel and here we are. So this channel now is going to be around, uh, finding your energy blocks. Um, I'm also going to be tapping into your chakra system and finding out what's in your chakra systems as a collective. And I'm going to be seeing certain Im images and imagery because I'm clairsentient, clairvoyant. Uh, and so I can see certain images and interpret them for you and give you my, my reading. Okay, so I'm going to be providing energy updates and sharing with you some stuff that you could be working on so that you can make progress and work on your ascension, right? Work on growing, expanding, becoming your greatest version. Okay, getting onto your path. Okay, getting onto your path, your truth. Okay, so I can't wait to share those videos with you. The next video, I'm going to be going into your seven major chakras and tapping into those and reading your energy. So make sure you click the notification bell to get those videos. With that being said, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.